Welcome to DMV Pass. Hey guys, thanks for your support. This is an updated version of the air brake practice test video posted a few weeks ago. Please know that I really appreciate your comments. Hopefully you'll continue to support our channel. Like, share and subscribe for more. Let's go. When is it okay to leave your truck unattended without applying the parking brakes and choking the wheels? A. Never. B. If you are only away for a few minutes. C. If you are conducting a pre-trip inspection. The correct answer is A. Never. The stop light switch. A. Tells you when the air brake system has low air pressure. B. Tells you when you need to use your emergency brakes. C. Turns your brake lights on to warn drivers behind you. The correct answer is C. Turns your brake lights on to warn drivers behind you. It is not safe to drive a vehicle that has brake drums with cracks that are longer than blank friction area. A. One half. B. One quarter. C. One eighth. The correct answer is A. One half. To test air service brakes, you should. A. Stop the vehicle, brake in a low gear, depress the service brakes, and then gently pull against the brakes. B. Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. C. Brake slowly while slowly moving backward. The correct answer is B. Brake firmly while slowly moving forward. A slack adjuster's free play needs to be adjusted if it is more than about blank how many inches when you pull hard on it. A. A quarter inch. B. Half an inch. C. One inch. The correct answer is C. One inch. If air pressure is not built up within the correct amount of time, then A. You should be ready to use your parking brakes to stop. B. The alcohol container may be low. C. Your air pressure may drop to a low point while driving, requiring an emergency stop. The correct answer is C. Your air pressure may drop to a low point while driving, requiring an emergency stop. The safety valve reduces pressure at blank PSI A of 50, B 100, C 150. The correct answer is C 150. Why should you drain water from compressed air tanks? A. Water low boiling point reduces braking power. B. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. C. Water cools the compressor too much. The correct answer is B. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather you should A. Check and fill the alcohol level. B. Change the alcohol from a new bottle. C. Check the oil for alcohol content. The correct answer is A. Check and fill the alcohol level. The air loss rate for a straight truck or bus with the engine off and the brakes on should not be more than A. 1 PSI in 30 seconds. B. 2 PSI in 45 seconds. C. 3 PSI in 1 minute. The correct answer is C. 3 PSI in 1 minute. The driver must be able to see a low air pressure warning which comes on before the pressure in the service air tanks falls below. Blank. PSI. A. 50. B. 60. C. 80. The correct answer is B. 60. The air brake lag distance at 55 miles per hour on dry pavement adds about a. 12 feet. B. 32 feet. C. 52 feet. The correct answer is B. 32 feet. If your truck has a properly functioning dual air brake system and minimum size air tanks, the air pressure should build up from 85 to 100 psi within how many seconds? A. 60. B. 30. C. 45. The correct answer is C. 45. How should you check that your service brakes are working properly? 
The correct answer is C. Park on level ground, wait until normal air pressure is reached, release the parking brake and move forward slowly at about 5 miles per hour. Then apply the brakes firmly using the brake pedal. A straight truck or bus air brake system should not leak at a rate of more than blank PSI per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. A. 1. B. 2. C. 3. The correct answer is B. 2. Excessive use of the service brakes results in overheating which can lead to A. Proper adjustment of S-cam B. Increase contact between the brake drums and linings C. Expansion of the brake drums The correct answer is C. Expansion of the brake drums The safety valve is set automatically when pressure is A. 50 B. 100 C. 150 The correct answer is C. 150 If you must make an emergency stop, you should brake so you A. Use the handbrake before the brake pedal B. Can steer and so your vehicle stays in a straight line C. Use the full power of the brakes to lock them The correct answer is B. Can steer and so your vehicle stays in a straight line your truck or bus has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? The correct answer is C. Stop right away and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. The brake pedal in an air brake system A. Controls the speed of the air compressor. B. Controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. C is connected to slack adjusters by a series of rods and linkages. The correct answer is B controls the air pressure applied to put on the brakes. All air brake equipped vehicles have A a supply pressure gauge, B an air usage gauge, C a backup hydraulic system. The correct answer is A a supply pressure gauge. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used. A. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. B. As little as possible. C. Only during pre- and post-trip inspections. The correct answer is A. Whenever you leave the vehicle unattended. A straight truck or bus air brake system should not leak at the rate of more than blank PSI per minute with the engine off and the brakes released. A. 1. B. 3. C. 2. The correct answer is C. 2. To check the free play of manual slack adjusters of S-cam brakes, you should park on. A. Level ground, chalk the wheels and release the parking brakes. B. A level ground and apply the parking brakes, then apply service brakes. C. Level ground and drain off air pressure before checking the adjustment. The correct answer is A. Level ground, chalk the wheels and release the parking brakes. The use of brakes on a long and steep downgrade under normal conditions is only a supplement to A. Use of spring brakes B. The use of the front brakes limiting valve C. The braking effect of the engine The correct answer is C. The braking effect of the engine the most important thing to do when a low air pressure warning comes on is A. Upshift B. Downshift C. Stop and safely park as soon as possible The correct answer is C. Stop and safely park as soon as possible The parking or emergency brake on a heavy vehicle can only be held in position by something that cannot leak away like A. Spring pressure B. Air pressure. C. Hydraulic pressure. The correct answer is A. Spring pressure. Why drain water from compressed air tanks? A. Water low boiling point reduces braking power. B. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. C. Water cools the compressor too much.
The correct answer is B. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. Repeatedly partially releasing and pressing the brake pedal may result in A. A loss of brake air pressure. B. A buildup of brake air pressure. C. No change of brake air pressure. The correct answer is A. A loss of brake air pressure. The brake system that applies and releases the brakes when the driver uses the brake pedal is the blank brake system. A. Emergency. B. Service. C. Parking. The correct answer is B. Service. A slack adjuster's free play needs to be adjusted if it is more than about blank how many inches when you pull hard on it. A. A quarter inch. B. Half an inch. C. One inch. The correct answer is C. One inch. An air brake system is fully charged at what PSI? A. 75. B. 100. C. 125. The correct answer is C-125. If the spring brakes are on, when should you push the brake pedal? A. Only when driving downhill. C. Only on the slippery road. C. Never. The correct answer is C. Never. When brakes are applied the brake shoes will press against the A. Brake drum or disc. B. Slack adjuster. C. S cam. The correct answer is A. Brake drum or disc. The safety valve discharges automatically at the pressure of A. 50. B. 100. C. 150. The correct answer is C. 150. Emergency stab braking is A. When you press hard on a brake pedal and apply hand valve while you stop. B. Use light steady pressure on the brake pedal. C. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. The correct answer is C. Press on the brake pedal as hard as you can, release the brakes when the wheels locked, put on the brakes again when the wheels start rolling. Why should you drain water from compressed air tanks? A. Water low boiling point reduces braking power. B. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. C. To keep from fouling the air compressor oil. The correct answer is B. Water can freeze in cold weather and cause brake failure. A modern air brake system combines three different systems. They are the service, the parking, and the blank brakes. A. Emergency. B. Foot. C. Drum. The correct answer is A. Emergency. If you do not have automatic tank drains, how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom of compressed air storage tanks? A. After every four hours of service. B. At the end of each day of driving. C. Once a week. The correct answer is B. At the end of each day of driving. The proper use of the brakes when going down a long steep grade after selecting a proper gear is to brake until your speed is about blank mph below the posted speed for your safety and release your brake. A. 5 miles per hour. B. 15 miles per hour. C. 10 miles per hour. The correct answer is A. 5 miles per hour. In ideal conditions a truck or bus with an air brake going at 55 miles per hour would require stopping distance of how many feet? A. Less than 100 feet. B. More than 300 feet. C. From 100 to 300 feet. The correct answer is B. More than 300 feet. The application pressure gauge shows how much air pressure you a. Have in the air tanks. B. Are applying to the brakes. C. Have in a modulating control valve. The correct answer is B. Are applying to the brakes. The spring brakes used on the chambers in a straight truck will bring you to a stop when air pressure drops below blank 
PSI A 20 B 60 C 100 The correct answer is A 20 Some air brake systems have an alcohol evaporator what may happen if you don't keep the proper level of an alcohol? A. The S cam may not take back when you release the brake pedal. B. Ice may form in the air storage tank and cause a brake failure. C. Ice may form on the brake drums and wear them out. The correct answer is B. Ice may form in the air storage tank and cause a brake failure. Your truck or bus has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for only one system, what should you do? The correct answer is A. Bring your vehicle to a complete stop right away and safely park. Continue only after the system is fixed. When brakes are applied the brake shoes will align to press against the A. Brake drum or disc B. Slack adjuster C. S cam the correct answer is A. Brake drum or disc. The braking power of the spring brakes. A. Is not affected by the condition of the service brakes. B. Depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. C. Increases when the service brakes are hot. The correct answer is B. Depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. The driver must be able to see a low air pressure warning which comes on before pressure in the service air tanks falls below, blank, PSI. A, 40. B, 60. C, 80. The correct answer is, B, 60. Which of these is not a proper time to apply the parking brakes? A, to brake vehicle very hard, in other words when coming down the steep grade. B. To use parking brakes if you park for less than one hour. C. If you are going to use the parking brakes you need to make sure that they will hold the vehicle. The correct answer is A. To brake vehicle very hard, in other words when coming down the steep grade. If your truck or bus has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to A. Balance the service brake system when you are parked. B. Stay parked twice as long without using up service air pressure. C. Release the spring emergency or parking brakes to move a short distance. The correct answer is C. Release the spring emergency or parking brakes to move a short distance. The most common type of foundation brake found on heavy vehicles is the A. Wedge drum B. S cam drum C. Disc the correct answer is B. S cam drum. Air braking takes more time than hydraulic braking because air. A. Air brakes use different brake drums. B. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. C. Brakes require heavier return springs. The correct answer is B. Takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. With air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used. A. As little as possible. B. Any time when vehicle is parked. C. To hold your speed when going downhill. The correct answer is B. Any time when vehicle is parked. Excessive heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause A. Modulated control valve to wear out. B. Brake linings to split up. C. Brake to fade or fail. The correct answer is C. Brake to fade or fail. If you must make an emergency stop, you should brake so you A. Can steer hard while braking hard. B. Can steer and so your vehicle stays in a straight line. C. Use the handbrake first. The correct answer is B. Can steer and so your vehicle stays in a straight line. The supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure A. Is in the air tanks B. You have used in this trip C. Is going to the brake chamber The correct answer is A. Is in the air tanks 
If you are driving down to the steep downgrade and you have reached the speed of 40 miles per hour, you would apply the service brake until your speed dropped to below blank miles per hour. A. 25. B. 30. C. 35. The correct answer is C. 35. Your truck has a dual air system and one of the systems loses its pressure. What will happen? A. Brake drums will not be fully pressurized. B. The manual slack adjusters of the S-cam brakes will not be set properly. C. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. The correct answer is C. Either the front or back brake will not be fully operational. Parking or emergency brakes of trucks and buses can be legally held on by blank pressure. A. Spring. B. Air. C. Fluid. The correct answer is A. Spring. The S cam. A. Controls the flow air to each of the brake chambers. B. Pulls the brake shoes away from the drum and allow the wheels to roll freely. C. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. The correct answer is C. Forces the brake shoes against the inside of the brake drum. Under normal conditions, in order to engage the parking brakes, driver A. Turn off the engine. B. Let the air out of air brake system. C. Be sure air brake system is fully pressurized. The correct answer is B. Let the air out of air brake system. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes due to blank distance. A. Brake lag. B. Reaction. C. Effective braking. The correct answer is A. Brake lag. It is accepted that too much heat caused by using your brakes too often can also cause A. Modulated control valve to wear out. B. Brake linings to split up. C. Brake to fade or fail. The correct answer is C. Brake to fade or fail. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by A. Bolts or clamps. B. Air pressure. C. Spring pressure. The correct answer is B. Air pressure. The air compressor stops pumping air at what PSI? A. 100. B. 125. C. 150. The correct answer is B. 125. The air compressor governor controls A. The speed of the air compressor. B. Air pressure applied to the brakes. C. When air is pumped into the air tanks. The correct answer is C. When air is pumped into the air tanks. The braking power of the spring brakes. A. Depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. B. Is not affected by the condition of the service brakes. C. Can only be tested by highly trained brake service people. The correct answer is A. Depends on the service brakes being in adjustment. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, it is there too. A. Eliminate the need for daily tank draining. B. Boost tank pressure the same way that turbocharges boost engine. C. Reduce the risk of icing in air brake valves in cold weather. The correct answer is C. Reduce the risk of icing in air brake valves in cold weather. If you must make an emergency stop, you should brake so you I. Use the handbrake before the brake pedal. B. Can steer and so your vehicle stays in a straight line. C. Use the full power of the brakes to lock them. The correct answer is B. Can steer and so your vehicle stays in a straight line. Your brakes are fading when A. You have to push harder on a brake pedal to control your speed on a downgrade. B. Less pressure is needed on the brake pedal for each stop. C. The brake pedal feels spongy when you apply pressure. The correct answer is A. You have to push harder on a brake pedal to control your speed on a downgrade.